Hello, and welcome to our lesson on the nth term of quadratic sequences. To find the nth term of a quadratic sequence, we need to find the difference between each two terms. So the difference between 1 and 4 is 3. Between 4 and 9 is 5. 9 and 16 is 7. And 16 and 25 is 9. Now, we need to find the second difference, which is the difference between the green terms. So 5 take away 3 is 2, 7 take away 5 is also 2, and 9 take away 7 is again 2. And this is called a constant second difference. And when we have that, it means it will be a quadratic sequence involving n squared. And these are the values of n. So we're going to square each value. 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4. 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, and 5 squared is 25. So you can see the formula for our sequence is n squared. We can work out the tenth term of our sequence. When n is equal to 10, we have 10 squared, which is 100. So 100 will be the tenth term in our sequence. Okay, the next question. The first difference is between 7 and 4, which is add 3. And then 7 add 5 makes 12. 12 add 7 makes 19. And 19 add 9 makes 28. Our second difference between a 3 and a 5 is 2. And again, and again. Because the second difference is 2, we know we're dealing with n squared. So we have 1, 4, 9, 16, and 25. But now we need to go from the n squared term to our sequence. The difference between 4 and 1 is 3. 3 is also the difference between the 4 and the 7, the 9 and the 12. So we need to add 3 to our n squared term. So the sequence is n squared add 3. We can check this works when n is equal to 5. We have 5 squared plus 3, and that does make 28. And the tenth term in our sequence is 10 squared plus 3, which is 103. OK, let's try some more questions. So do you want to try and work out the nth term and the tenth term for these two sequences? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. Okay, so we're going to calculate the first difference. 1 add 3 makes 2. 2 add 5 makes 7. 7 add 7 makes 14. And 14 add 9 makes 23. Again, the second difference is adding 2. So we know we're dealing with n squared. So we can work out n squared, which is 1, 4, 9, 16, and 25. And to go from 1 to negative 1, we have to take away 2. From 4 to 2, we've got to again take away 2. From 9 to 7, 16 take away 2 is 14. So we know we've got n squared and we're taking away 2. So our sequence is n squared minus 2. We can check this works when n is equal to 5. 5 squared minus 2. 25 minus 2 is 23. And when n is equal to 10, we have 10 squared minus 2, which is 98. And for our final question, the first difference here is 4, and then 6, 8, and 10. The second difference is 4 add 2 to make 6, add 2 to make 8. And add 2 to make 10. So again, we know we've got n squared. So 1, 4, 9, 16, and 25. So now we need to look closely at the difference between the sequence and n squared. Well, 2 take away the 1 is 1. 6 take away 4 is 2. 12 take away 9 is 3. And 20 take away 16 is 4. 
and 33 raised to 25 is 5. But these are also the values of n. So our sequence is n squared plus n. We can check this works when n is equal to 5. We have 5 squared plus 5, which is 30. And the tenth term, when n is equal to 10, we have 10 squared plus 10, 110. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.